What is up, everybody? I'm Guy Blaze, and I'm joined today with Rich Campbell. And today is going to be another episode of Let's Play. Now, for all you guys who joined us last week, uh, we did a little Hanzo Let's Play, and we did we, we uh, threw out some Hanzo tips out there, and we Hanzo mained all day. Don't let I'm don't be so glad I'm day, not, okay? I was not there for the Hanzo. I'm I had, very I happy to be here for Soldier. <laughs> so glad that I was not here for Hanzo. And I was so, actually watching, making fun of you the whole time. So today we're gonna be doing tips on Soldier. So uh, that's Soldier is gonna be the, one of the main guys that we're gonna be maining today, and uh, we're gonna give you guys a little you know a few tips and tricks of it. Uh, you know, last week I put my comp rank on the line. And I'm gonna do it again this week, all right? So we're gonna have some fun. This isn't calm now. This is just, you know, the warm-up games. Yeah. So all right, I know that you're actually a filthy Hanzo main IRL, but how are you at Soldier? Are you playing a lot of Soldier when you're not on that absolutely well, okay. disgusting so, abomination? So now, Hanzo? real, real Hanzo mains out there, right? We care about the Q, right? We care about the community, all right? So, That's so not when, true. I'm, so, yes, <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. So, so when I'm, uh, so when I'm, when I'm actually trying. All right, and then we're out there. So I will say 85% of the time I may be playing Soldier okay. uh, when it comes down to comp. Soldier can create anything DPS. Yeah, I, I definitely think that that's like a good thing to be doing. Soldier is DPS really strong, brings a lot of utility as well. But before we jump into all the tips that you have for Soldier, we should probably talk about some of the stuff that's going on in Overwatch yes. in general. One of those things, I actually saw you reading it a little bit earlier. There's that new Zarya digital comic that just came out on the Overwatch site. Now, it, now I just uh, so yeah, I, I read it today in my. If yo, if you love, if you're you're a fan of Zarya, and, and the best part about this was that I know that we're gonna be talking about today, but the last few days I've actually been playing Zarya. But it's crazy. Zarya is actually my most played tune. Or, or was originally. Now it probably switched up like a little bit yeah. recently, but I was playing like a lot of Zarya at the beginning, a, a lot of fun. But, but yeah, I will say, I after reading so the comic, fun. after reading the comic, okay, here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I actually didn't finish the comic. I'll be completely mm -hmm. honest. I started reading it. the The thing, uh, the thing with Zarya for me is I always like Zarya because she's kind of like from where I'm from. Like she's which is but, well, I I come from like a Russian like Ukrainian you, you, kind of background. You spent a lot of time in Russia. From, like, I, I, in Ukraine, there, right? yeah, yeah, I've been to Ukraine. I've been to Ukraine like probably. This year, I think I actually went almost 15 times. Okay. Yeah, because I've been doing a lot of shows over there. Yo, ladies, but, you got flyer miles, okay? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Come to my show. <laughs> but uh, a, the, the thing is, I, like, I love the. I, that was one of the reasons I love Zarya, right? Yeah. And she, she's different than a lot of the other characters. So it's just like, it's cool to vibe out with her. But the thing is, is she just hates robots unfathomably. And, and that's probably a spoiler. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys go read the comics for yourself. But, uh, you know, the comic is uh, it, it's pretty awesome. And she finds some love. Uh, for a certain almanac, and actually, you know, the almanac that's in the comic is, is that how you is, say it? I say it, almanac. Yeah. Almanac. Almanac. I, 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 country, it was, I, got, I got a little country in what, me. Wait, what? I thought it was Omnic. Um, I read it as Omnic. It's Omnic. Omnic. It's Omnic. Yeah, yeah, because it's the Omnic's right. crisis. The I Omnic. like Omnic, though. That sounds like... Omnic. That, that's like one Omnic. There's that one Omnic. Like Uncle Fish. Omnic. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. cool Uncle Omnic. Yeah, you know my Omnic uncle. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing, though. Hatred hatred for robots, that ain't cool with me. Yeah, but it was one in there, Linux 17. And uh, after actually seeing that story, I would love for him to like, actually be a playable character one day. That'd actually know? be sick, man. Hey, BlizzCon's coming up. Who knows? Hey, 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 you think, but think about it like this. Is that we have the only uh, Omnic that we have is Vinyata, right? And we got uh, all these other humans, you know, like yeah, you know, it's 2017. Yeah. Let's get some robot love. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. But yeah, guys, if you're into the lore, definitely check out the comic. I I've never, I've like dabbled in the Overwatch lore, but most of it was just like kicking around, talking to people in the office. I know Mr. X, like every now and then, I'll like talk about lore. But I never actually went and read something. This is the first time I did it, and I, I did enjoy it because I do that a lot with other Blizzard games. Oh, you got off the heel. I, you didn't really have a good choice there, though. Nah, I, I should have I shot my heel with Rocket that one. But yeah, Guilty so bash. I'm gonna throw my, see, my headset's not even on. I don't even got sound, all right? We're at like 50%. It's like I, I play with speakers sometimes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've done it before. That's, like, that's a... It's rough, man. It's really rough. All right. Well, we talked about the comics, but there's some news in the world of esports yes. as well. Uh, this is actually really big news. I actually just saw that Siegel going to be joining the Dallas OWL roster. And so that's going to be the Dallas Envious OWL roster at that. Yeah. And, uh, so from what we read is that he's going to be one of the main guys on the roster. He's because uh, they already have they, they have a good Overwatch team now, but he's going to be coming in as that seventh. And, but don't kind of look at him as like a seven. Look at him as a guy that kind of like rotate out uh, between certain maps, you know? And that's one thing that I always wanted to do with eSports, like actually have a roster that you can kind of switch out, you know, on, on, a, uh, on a certain basis per map, you know? Because some players, 
uh, may be good, better at a certain map than others. I'm excited to see too, like how far you're actually allowed to go with that, right? Because I, I mean, ideally you would just have everyone who's perfect on one tune, right? You should, you'd find that one main. But it's cool to see Seagull also joining this team because I, I feel like the one thing with Seagull, and by no means, bro, my fire and shots at you right now if you happen to be watching. <laughs> but I feel like Seagull has just been in positions before where his teams weren't necessarily that good, and he was always viewed as like. Seagull's just that streamer. Like, he's the yeah. really good streamer, but is he really at that pro level? And I don't think that that's going to be a question at all anymore. I think this is going to be a really good home for him. And they're actually going to be able to break him out in the right moments, and he's definitely going to shine in the eSport. Th this roster's just stacked, too. If you really are, yeah, if you are in Dallas right now, like, you just got, like, th that's like being, I, I don't watch sports, but it's like getting a team that just won the Super Bowl three so, years just coming up in your backyard. I'm ready to see that E-Classical. With uh, with uh, envious and optics, since optics gonna be in Houston now, yeah. and you know I want to see a little exhibition with that every now and then. Well, you know what I'm saying? Also, man, so that's really good that you brought that up because the whole thing that's going on with optic right now. If you haven't been paying attention to everything in the esports world. There are a lot of rumors going on with what exactly that roster is going to be. I know mm -hmm. today in particular, it's not official. So if you want to do some sleuthing on the internet, you can definitely find out what's going on there. And uh, you know, most of the time in esports right now, I'd say about ninety percent of the time, rumors mm -hmm. are just true. <laughs> yeah, right. E even if it's yeah, like yeah. bad stuff. You no, know, I can almost even agree with you on that one. Because <laughs> like people who. Uh, They'll say what they believe, even though it's probably like they probably actually do know the answer, but they're going to kind of stay with a question mark. Like, I don't know, you know, I think maybe picking up these guys, you know, but hey, anything can happen, right? Yeah, yeah, and they, yeah. <laughs> well, they leave the door open for, uh, for questioning. I feel like that's the thing with esports too right now. It's still very much like a community, so everyone kind of knows everybody, so the they get comfortable, you start telling people secrets, but then one dude will get pissed off. Like, I remember there was like this Call of Duty thing that went down like a while back, mm -hmm. and, and basically one of the players knew all the rosters, because all the players were in communication yeah. talking about it. And he just went on went on a website one day and just released everything that he knew, because he got pissed off about something. So, the, I feel like it's still a small enough community, everyone knows everybody, so, oh man. Did, who actually got down that Genji? Uh, I think uh, my diva came through. Yeah, Diva coming in clutch. I love the new Diva. New Diva's sick and really get a lot of Nah, trouble. yeah, so when I uh, when I start, I hopped on and I didn't read the patch shows before I hopped on. You know, I always trust that, you know, we got some good stuff happening. But one day I was fighting Diva, next thing you know, she started firing rockets at me and I said, what's going on here? Like, yeah, yeah, right. Why am I getting hit with so many missiles? Well, it, I know that you've been playing Soldier a lot too. We're, now that we're starting to focus on gameplay a little bit, oh, as you get all of these kills, now we know we definitely want to be learning stuff they from call you. Me all the way? Uh, what, is, what is one of your main tips? I know that you were saying that proper positioning is really important. Uh, so positioning is going to be one of the main ones, right? And so when it comes down to Soldier positioning, uh, you, you know, you have to always be kind of clear on exactly on where you are. Because one of the main things is that soldiers fall off rate when it comes down to his, to his damage. Uh, it's pretty consistent all the way through, you know. Um, you will have his reticle, you know, we'll talk about fire rate a little bit later on though. But, you know, your bullets will start to spread a little bit. But constant damage rate is going to be there. And positioning, watch where you go because you might get caught. With that hurts. Like that, okay? <laughs> don't, don't be standing uh, there. Well, we're about to like as soon as I'm, I'm about to we're about to hop out of this game and we're gonna put my put my comp record on the line, okay? My my glorious plat comp record, all right? You know, if you if you in plat, you playing on PC, you may have heard stories about me, okay? Folk tales, so to speak, okay? You yeah, he's he, he's that dude who gets into your lobby and locks in Hanzo. You might have heard of him. <laughs> you may may have heard of him. <laughs> um, but you know, when, when we're playing the, the classic two two comp, two tanks, two DPS, two healers. Uh, making sure you're positioned towards your back line, making sure that you, um, every map is gonna have that sweet spot where soldiers gonna excel more than others, right? Yeah. And we're gonna, we're gonna hop into that right now, because I'm, well, ready, I'm ready so, to put so, so what is the consistent thing, though, uh, about that place where he excels? Like, it, th does he like choke points? Does he like wide open spaces? Like, where, where no, does soldiers no, really it, shine? It's, de it's, definitely, it's definitely those choke points where you almost have, where you have that escape route in case things go wrong. Uh, and you also wanna be there to protect your healers at the same time, you know? Uh, you want to hope that they're moving in a in a, in a um, moving exactly the way they need to. In a sense, you know they're going to be going around healing everybody, but you don't want to make sure that they're making sure they kind of stay close to the DPS. They're not wandering off so that you know they don't get dived by Winston and Diva in the back lines or Genji. Uh, and they're close enough to you that if things go down, that you will be there to help them. Uh, but you don't want to be in the front lines for soldiers, right? You don't have to be first in the fight. I know he has to sprint, okay? But you don't have to sprint past your entire front line to be that guy, all right? Well, that's the other thing that you're saying, too. You talk about escape, and one of the things 
with that sprint yes. and with actually being able to drop that biotic feel, which is going to heal you up, you're really good at escaping. So I, I feel like the sprint's less important to actually engage sometimes, yeah. but more important to get away, Correct. heal yourself up, and then get back in in the middle. No, I, I, de I definitely agree with that. And, uh, you know, we're going to... I'm, I'm going to be talking to you guys, depending on whatever map it is, I'm talking to you guys about key positions, okay? So we'll see what the queue decides to give us today, all right? This is actually one of the prime times yeah. I like to actually, you know, play comp. You know, my sweet, my sweet hours are like uh, midnight. Yeah. No, no, we'll say it's about 11 p.m. Well, uh, you have to about get 11 to think about it. Yeah. 2 p.m., all right? That window, I feel like it's like the prime time to play competitive. That's just for me personally. Q times will destroy your sleep schedule when you actually yeah. figure out the math. Because the, the weird thing is, is sometimes you actually want to try to play against like the EU guys, right? Like right when they're waking up. Because mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be completely honest right now. This happens a lot of times when you're actually queuing up for video games. Yeah. If you try to target early morning EU, you get a bunch of really bad kids logging in. <laughs> so, so to do that in the well, US, depending like, on where you live, you gotta be up till like, man, like, that's like it. you gotta like, be up personally, four in the morning. Me personally, I don't wanna play with the kids out of school. You know what I'm saying? I want to. I, I, I want to. I want to just. I want my rank, dude. I just want to. Exactly. I want to take down kids. I want to steal just lunch money. <laughs> on, um, on where? Well, I waited for your queue times. This was actually the Zarya comic here. Okay, Ooh. this is the, this is the front page of it. We're not. We're, we can scroll through a little bit of it right here, though. But this is check her just it out. It's, robots. It's, it's, it's one of many different pieces. This is actually guy Linux. As I said I would actually love to see him as an actual character. Okay, we need yeah. more Omnic though. He yeah. also looks really cool. I like his helmet a lot. Mm -hmm. And isn't Sombra in here too, just like hacking of, people's hearts yeah, left and right? Yeah, towards the end though, but we don't want to give too much away. We want you guys to actually go out. Oh, uh, man, I just spoiled the whole thing. <laughs> you know, but no, but no, it, it, it's about her chasing down Sombra. Yeah, all right? cool. And you see that story of, of why she hate Omnix and everything and whatnot. Yeah, okay? yeah. But, um, yeah, searching for a game. You're saying you like this Q time, but every now and then you still hey, need to go away. Hey, it's cool though. As long as we get like a solid, consistent matchup, now I got an auto lock. What's so your right? icon? It's a, it's a one of the hearts lion. Auto lock, auto lock, auto lock. All right. We got him. This is actually a beautiful map too. This yeah. is actually a beautiful map. Too, but you know? where do you like to actually get set up in your uh, body? On, on defense, I'm going to show you the top layers that, uh, that I like to go though. But since we're going to be on the attacking side here to, to start this off, uh, it's a few different routes in which we can take to try to get this first point. We can go Main Street, uh, we can flank around on the bottom half on the back side by the bridge, or we can go up top. And I'll show that to you guys. But as, as this comp starts to fill out too, we should definitely talk about like what everyone's picking and how it looks. So yeah. the, the Winston and Lucio I saw got picked right away. Looks like everyone else is still trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. Winston, man. And so, and, and, and so to, uh, one of our next points on Soji that we're going to get into, and that's utilizing his tag visor. And the reason why I want to talk about this now is because when you use this tag visor, it's going to depend majority on who you're playing against, right? Because it's a few things that you have to check off. If the opposing team has that Genji, okay, you need to make sure that his deflect is down before you start shooting crazy, okay? Because he's going to be deflecting those bullets right back at you. Uh, if that Diva's out, you know, you want to make sure you get Diva out of mech before you start to use your attack virus as well because she's going to eat up most of those bullets. Yeah. Uh, if Winston's there, he's going to try to dive you, drop that bubble on you. So every character, a few characters have a certain way of stopping you. You just have to be uh, aware of where they are. But me personally, especially if it's a, if they have the enemy team has that pharmacy combo with that Mercy and that Fair, if I see them both just floating, all automatically. Both. Oh, yeah. I want. I want to take both those guys out, but I'm always aiming for that mercy, especially uh, even on, especially on the old patch when she just comes out and she uh, gets that big five man res. You want to make sure you take her out, but even in this situation, we want to do the same thing, and so we're gonna actually take this top route. So, are there any situations like let let's say they, they are rocking like a Winston and a Diva, for example, that you're like, okay, maybe I'm gonna switch off of Soldier right now because they are just too good at shutting me down offensively. Say that again, Rick. Like, like, is there ever a point in time when you actually see a composition like with a diva or, or, or with a Genji, like things that are good at shutting you down on Soldier nah, that nah, you actually I, switch off? Nah, uh, you know, it depends on depends on what I personally like feel like playing that map. But usually, in every map, Soldier is going to be a no good decent pick. Away. Now, especially with this comp, our, our team tried to go up in that top hallway. Zarya was even full of charge, but I hope we don't try that craziness again on going up there. I thought that Mercy was yeah, named go, Hanzo yeah, for a second. I was like, what? There we go. Alright, oh, yeah, so this is one of those things with like a choke point too, and you're really seeing Soldier shine. That Mercy Res go off there instantly. I, the new Mercy Res is just so strong. I like it a lot. Alright, get 
dunk right out of here. Let's take care of the GPS targets just floating around. And, and this goes back to one of the other things that that guy was saying a little bit earlier about his positioning. Look, he's not all the way in the front. Now he actually can retreat as the front line is taken down. He doesn't want to be the one taking all the pressure, but he's definitely putting in work nonstop. And you just have like a really, really consistent fire rate here. Yeah, and so especially with this fire rate, is that with Soja, he didn't realize he got res. Get him out of here. <laughs> right. Got pay attention. He got up. He he died. He got up. Went to get the lunchable. He, he takes it out. He gets that 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 sp the, the, the spread man. He gets that tomato spread. He's spreading it out on his pizza. Drops a little bit of cheese on. Thank he's you. hitting the pepperonis, and all of a sudden he looks back up at his screen and he's getting gun. <laughs> oh man! Don't pull out the lunchables until the game is over. Until you see your medals. Until you see your loot box. Do not go for the lunch. Our Zarya is, is extra. Our Zarya right now is extra juicy. She's full of charge. I need, I need to get back in here. But Someone read the comic, it. dude. <laughs> Role playing, getting beefy. That's one of my my favorite things about Zarya, though. When you see a really good Zarya, it's like the amount of damage she can really pump out. Oh, man. So many. And, and one thing is also about Soldier is that you want to always be shooting. Okay, and I'm going to explain more on that in a second, but I need to make sure I get these two targets. So we got some people that's hurt back here. I need to finish off for the squad that's tied up behind this shield. They, they've actually, they've done a really good job defensively this game. But it looks like you guys are finally going to be able to break. Wow, actually, yo, they just took down everyone. Good yeah, shot there, man. Yeah, so, so guys, I do want to point out right now, like, we are taking questions right now, so if you're in chat, whether it be on Twitch or Facebook Live, wherever you're watching, we thank you a lot for tuning in. But ask us anything you want to know, whether it's about Soldier or anything in the game in general. I'm paying attention. I'll let Guy know whatever you want. You can ask me whatever as well. But well, once again, Guy, just doing a good job of getting yourself set up in this choke point. You can get another person down right when they get rest. Ooh, that was actually nice. We're just going to be able to drop a shield here. So when that shield actually goes up, do you, do you want to be just sinking bullets in it like that? To take it down? Yeah. Okay. 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 Finally going to be able to break here. This is the tactical visor play that you're looking for. But it gets shot down, uh, shut down ultimately. Yeah, maybe maybe my res might come through. Maybe she, she's floating around here or she's probably in spawn, but I'll never take down that mercy. And Which is good. That's just, a lifeline for this. This ain't looking good. But we got four people on this point fighting. We're about to figure this out right now. Really gonna come down to this push. Alright, let's go. We're about to come clutch these guys on train. Oh, that grab! That was actually really nice. This, this Zarya is just a, a, a hard carry right now. Guy looks really good as well, putting out like way more damage than anyone else. But this guy's been really good in the past too. That Roadhog actually coming up with really good hooks. Oh, took down too. That was nice, man. We got we got a Mel Hog. Let me try to hook him up there. All right, so now, okay, now let's, well, who's on this point? Because, okay, nobody, all right, cool. All right, so now, I, now the pressure is off me, and we got first point, okay, and I got, I got some room to talk and, and not just focus. The reason I was gonna say the constant fire rate is because with Soldier, you always have something to shoot, and you should always be shooting, all right? Uh, even if it's breaking down these shields, because somebody on your team has to do it. If it's Reinhardt's shield, if it's Arissa's shield, those shields gotta go down so your teammates can actually get those shots in and they can actually uh, stop hindering you because you need to get to those targets, right? Uh, also, it's gonna be, rather if you're firing at their, at their, whether if you're looking for the supports in the background, you, you're shooting fairs and mercies out the sky, it is always something to shoot, even if you're pre-firing in corners, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know they have to come down here, even if I'm pre-firing these corners, my gun's gonna always be going off right here, right? At all times, I always have a target, and we talked about earlier about that, the, um, the damage fall off of these bullets is pretty much null and void. It's, it's not much at all. It's pretty consistent. But also with the fire rate is that I like to fire in like, in like five shot bursts. I feel like every clip, I should be able to, hold on. Every clip, I should be able to, uh, has about five bursts where I'm 100% accurate, right? So, so the other thing I want to bring up too, because obviously he does have that right click as well. Yeah. Do, do you like to try to open with Like I know it's, it, personally, I'll usually try to initiate with it or close with it. How do you try to go about using that right click? When it comes down to using that healer's rock, I, I love to use them for the tanks, you know, just to kind of melt down those tanks just a little bit and finish off some of these shields right here. And also, you see, I, I gotta deal with a lot of shields. This Arisha shield comes up pretty quickly. 
And so we want to use this healing rock to kind of melt this a little bit, especially with me. Oh, let's do this. Oh man, another huge grab coming in from that Zarya, and you actually throw in the tactical visor as well to just clean that one up. That was really nice yeah, to see that. That was, that was just when I was thinking about flanking too. So after we got past that first point, I'm happy people with actually started to crumble. Yeah, yeah, right? It was looking really good now. They were good defensively, but when they're actually trying to break, they're not doing a very good job. I'm going to take a second here to actually look at a few things that people are saying in chat. Okay, yeah, this yeah. one's from uh, Matt Waj. It says, hey, how can I get to my dream rank of platinum? I'm having a really tough time breaking, uh, breaking in since my teammates are always bringing me down every game. I want to say one thing really quick. Yes. A lot of people say that about teammates bringing them down. That is not an excuse at all. Everyone's going into the same cues, so don't make excuses. That's honestly one of the first ways that you can do it. I'm not trying to be harsh. It's just really important to kind of own up and yeah. figure out what you can do to be better. It, it is, and uh, I always try to point the finger at myself yeah. first because you're going to have some frustrating teammates, right? It's just yeah. like it's a part of like any game. You <laughs> might queue up with a Hanzo, It's going to happen. So I'm actually like, I like to, I'm stuck in plat right now. Yeah. Uh, but to get here, I would say it's probably about it's three champions that will help you get here with ease. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Okay, <laughs> that, that's that's a good choice. Okay, if you want to be that guy, right? Yeah. yeah but yeah. think about it this way: if you want to carry yourself, okay, if you want to carry yourself to three champions, I would suggest is Soldier, Reaper, and Winston. I feel like really, I, I feel like those are. You want to throw Mercy in there? Oh no, because like. See, I'm the type of person where I don't trust people to, to get me out of silver, gold, plat, wherever, right? I feel like I got to do it myself. Uh, so if I got to do it myself, I need to make sure I'm able to pick up those kills. I and trust, like hard characters. Yeah, I, I trust my own abilities, yeah, right? I, I, I know exactly where I need to position because not everybody understands I think the that. other thing that's really good, too, is if you actually do tackle multiple roles, if you are in that position where you actually can get those champs under your yeah. belt, like if you can do a, a Mercy, a Soldier, and a Winston, you're covering all of your bases. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and those team comps and everything, they, they're, they're definitely, uh, I agree with you, yeah, they're, 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 they're in so many picture, of these great you know? team comps, yeah. But these heroes, I feel like they just put enough damage out and if you become really talented with them, especially with their ults with the Death Blossom and Attack Visor, like, if you position yourself right, then you can make those big plays for your team to uh, succeed. But when it comes down to positioning on this map, this little sweet spot right here, I got escape route, I got views on the whole map, the flank, top bridge, bottom street right here. My Mercy will fly to me any time to, to heal me up. She can get out of trouble when things go down. This is just my, my sweet spot right here. You're about to watch this constant fire I put down on these boys. Uh, and as you actually see those shots ring out, I, I, I'm gonna take a few more questions from the chat. This is from, from Poke Laws. It says, hey guys, big fan of the MLG lifestyle represent. Uh, have some problem with my competitive matches. Not sure why this happens, but I'm always having Mercy's whisper me and basically talk to smack. Uh, I, I'm gonna say if Mercy's talking smack, you're probably taking bad fights and your positioning may be slightly skewed. So try, try to not take a fight if your team isn't there unless you need to contest uh, to, to actually get into, uh, like to get overtime activated. I, I'd say that's probably one of the biggest things. Like if you're just running in and taking bad fights, or if you're, do you think that's probably why the Mercy was talking to that guy? Oh, great. I didn't even hear it. I got the Hold up. I am carrying my team. Spare is in the sky. Those out of the sky take a lot of concentration. Now, what was the question? Like, uh, ba basically saying that Mercy is saying to this player during the game, this is uh, Poke Laws, uh -huh. basically saying, like, like, talking a lot of smack to them. Oh, you know. It, that, I think that, it's just you're taking bad fights, probably. Hey, yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. You know, she just needs to make sure she runs the squad here, okay, and, and, you know, make sure she heal me as I'm trying to carry her, okay? But, uh, you know, I, don't know, I feel like most of Mercy's I, I came across, they haven't talked too much, you know what I'm saying? They haven't, they haven't, they haven't talked too much, you know, I, I usually tend to be that, that IGL, that in game leader, so I just tell them what to do. You got it. Facebook, Facebook Mercy question coming uh, in right now. Coming from a time between Lisa and Ray. Um, Lisa wants to know the thoughts on the rework with the recent patch. And Ray wants to know if he thinks that Mercy's update is actually a nerf or a I actually think oh, Mer it's a huge boost. Mer Mercy's absolutely, to, to talk about the Mercy right now. It, Mer Mercy's, all those changes are a huge boost. I know a lot of people kind of felt like it wasn't because they missed that that ultimate coming in with the Reds, being able to get up the whole team. But just like consistent pressure, you can make decisions that really matter, and now just able to do so much damage-wise as well. I, I think I think Mercy is now more important than ever. I think that's the reason why we're, we're talking about Mercy the way we used to talk about mana, right? When, I, when I'm talking about like what you should queue with, I'm saying you should queue with uh, with Mercy. If you asked me that like what six months ago, I'd say you should solo queue with Ana 100% of the time. 
Yeah, I, I just had such a bad, bad old right there. Like we had some people, we had some, um, some people that were on the hill that just really needed to go down there. And no, uh, but I also had the fair to my left. Like my position was just super bad. Like I had sight lines on everybody. We just could not finish those kills, and I was getting harassed. So like. My prioritization right there was just all wrong. Like, I should have made sure I took care of this fair out of the sky first, then tried to track down that mercy, but like, I was just like in a rush with it, okay? So, don't do don't do what I just did right there. But as you guys see right there, especially like in that fight, like I had to, uh, especially the people on the hill, like before I could use my tag virus, I had to make sure that that Reinhardt shield went down, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want his whole squad to just sit behind that shield and eat up half my old right there. The other question I have for you, how important are rocket jumps actually going to be? Uh, they're actually good on a lot of, on, on, on certain maps. Just because the fact is that if you can rocket jump to a location where you have that height advantage, height advantage in any game is going to put you in a good position, especially like especially on certain targets. If you're able to look down on your opponents, uh, eight out of ten times you have the advantage. Yeah, right? That's like one of the whole reasons that that, that baddie's so strong, right? Bear can jump up and actually get that advantage, can do a lot of diving and things like that. Picking up that kid on Hollywood, man. See, look at how consistent this pressure from, from Mercy can really be. Like, the, the, the question just came in whether the changes to Mercy were actually a nerf or they were a buff. But you can see Mercy just picking up the most important person to fight. Oh, that grab, man. Yeah. Uh, grab is such a good way to initiate when you yeah, actually do have ultimate up. Yeah, you can just completely come in with the push, get that grab down, and just reset. Yeah, and especially Not especially with that with the mercy. Like as soon as I was able to take down that Reinhardt, she boom, she came in with that res though. But at that point, you need to realize that it's down for thirty seconds, and that's where it's time to really do some damage, and where you don't have to worry about her for a little bit. You can kind of put her on the back burner, but if you can take her out as soon as possible, every time is going to be better. Yeah, it's almost, I, you can disagree with me, but I feel like a lot of the time, even if it's not a perfect fight, even if you just, if you're a DPS and you trade out on the Mercy, so you kill the Mercy and then you get killed in the process, I feel like you come out ahead 90% of the time as a team trading that kill. But I think the DPS is just worth a little bit less than the Mercy a lot of the time. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Like you, you need to stick on that mercy. And if guys talking about things like consistent fire rate, if you can get a lot of those stuck into mercy. It's going to be big. Now we're talking about tactical visor and actually making sure that there weren't stops for it at, at the given moment. Guy decides to pop the tactical visor there, and Reinhardt being somewhat disruptive to it, but he still manages to find a kill. Now there's that mercy. It's line so up. hard to hit her. Yeah, in the sky it's so now. difficult. When it, that's the other thing with the change. I mean, you, you talk about that height advantage. Yeah, you had good shots here. The first shot on Mercy, all of a sudden the DPS comes in and just pinches And you. when she popped that ult, she was literally boosting 76 and Fear both at the same time. Like that energy stream was just connected to her whole squad here. It's so cool how it works. It's just like that, that like kind of chain heal mentality. It, it works really well. I, I love the changes. I, I think they're a lot of fun, but definitely just makes, makes it a little bit harder to kill. And now that, that's a pretty scary position to be in. I thought you were going to get pinned for a second there, but you're able to snap back onto the Reinhardt and get the shield up just in the nick of time. Oh, you need your team. What is your team doing? I actually thought they were going to be able to kill Reinhardt there. That's the other scary thing with Mercy. I think at this point, I haven't been tracking too well, but I'm pretty sure her res is already back up. She, she would have been able to get that Reinhardt right back up. And once again, this Zarya drops that grab, able to pull in the entire team. This Zarya is just, just demolishing you Yo, guys right really now. she really is. Like, she, is, she has been like the truth. And I, I, gotta, I can't even lie, I've like said her a few times here in this fight. Dude, she was getting beefy at that point. But I mean, she's getting really clutch ultimates off, and then you, you speak to the feeding, she's just getting that ultimate back quicker and quicker. Oh, we got the okay, here we go. I don't got nothing, no big shields to worry about. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, There's that Ryman. Should be able to get it right around the corner. Oh, the finesse. And you just gotta take out that Reinhardt. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Good stuff. All right, we got a minute right here. I want, I want this easy win. This ain't been, this ain't been too easy though. But I don't want to go into a little time and have to reset this here. There's one tip that we didn't talk about, guys. We have that little bit of downtime as you guys just got that major push in. We haven't talked about actually using the biotic field. And I think a lot of people will sometimes forget about it. You know, not forget about it though, but they don't use it as much as they should. You know what I'm saying? Are you pretty much using it on CD? Uh, I, I want to. I want. I, I feel like it's always a position where I can put it in, especially when we're so close to our spot right here. Oh, get her! Come on, get, get in there. There we go. Good job, Tracer. Uh, it's always going to be a spot. Like right now, as I know, I got to fight this one v one. This fear is in the sky. She's going to hit me with a few rockets. 
I want that feel down to make sure I'm getting that health regen before I'm getting snuck up on. That died. Yeah, but all of a sudden that mercy snaps back to you and you got a few shots in, you're back up at full health and your biotic field was down, so that helped top you off. So that shows, yeah. even sometimes when you're not under the most pressure, if you have that biotic field down, it'll give you an advantage in the gunplay. It looks like the Reaver's gonna try to contest again. Yeah, he's trying, he's shots. trying to get Yeah, he's mercy. hiding in the corner, yeah, hiding in the it. corner. Back in there by himself. Oh, he actually moved back around. I think he actually had him in this one, but you managed to take him down. I'm surprised. Right, we gotta get her out. Yeah, just absolutely. So dirty. You gotta watch that Zarya again. Right, but, oh, now it's your turn to shine with that Zarya. Lucio coming in too. This is a big push for you guys. So that's it. Oh, and you get to hold on to Tactical Visor as well, and uh, victory comes in, but even right. if it's any so, guess with so it, yeah, so, so right there, I don't want to, like, I could have pushed up a little bit further there, but I'm like, I have such good sight lines right there in front of my spawn. It's like, why move, right? Why move? I see exactly where everybody is. I'm able to watch the team's flank from the right-hand side. Uh, it was just it was a good position. You could just put out that consistent damage right there that the squad needs. And well, I want to stress the biotic field, though, too, because yeah. that was kind of the last tip you were talking about. You did so much of that damage, as you mentioned. You had the best sight lines during that fight. If you didn't drop that biotic field and that Reaper actually came in and took you down, yeah, that could have changed the entire rap, push. And right there, he might even got a zone off of me and just hits the death blossom on the flank. Whole squad's done. We're out of overtime. That, that little tiny thing. Again. Like that healing actually adds so much damage for your team because if you are dead, you are not doing damage. And, and it's a simple rule. Exactly. And make sure you're using that in those 1v1 fights as well. Drop it. Have that extra advantage. You know, you're pretty much increasing your health bar in a sense right there when you're fighting those 1v1s. <laughs> so uh, you guys have been talking a lot about Mercy, but we have Alex wondering. He loves playing with Soldier, mm -hmm. but he always gets taken out by Tracer when he's Soldier. How can you counter Okay, just just for everyone who's actually watching right now, we just got a question coming in from you guys on Facebook Live saying that a lot of people, uh, I, I didn't actually catch the name, but while playing Soldier, he feels like he's getting countered by Alex. Tracer. Alex. So, yeah, Alex. Alex, Facebook, Alex yeah. feeling like he's getting uh, countered by Tracers when he's playing Soldier Guy. How would you remedy that situation? So I feel like every character has a movement pattern, right? And Tracer is one of the most difficult ones to, to, uh, to kind of figure out, you know? Like me being a Hanzo main, when the Tracer rewinds, okay, and I have my bow looking in the past exactly where she's about to be, and you get that sweet headshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I fell in love with the Well, I, I, I mean, that's that the thing. Time. So yeah. now with Soldier, uh, you got to know that most times that she, she's going to hit that rewind, right? Yeah. You got to figure out where she's going to be, right? Have a Helix Rocket waiting for her, but she's going to be dashing. Just try to get those few bursts on those headshots uh, because she has about 150 health, right? If you hit, get about two headshots on her, boom, boom, automatically she's going to rewind out of habit if it's there. And from that point on, you just got to kind of stay in there with her, get that harass, even throw a few melees. Like, against Tracers, I don't even mind if I kind of spray a little bit because I know she's going to be up close because she has to be up close. Because that's that one's gonna move into your spray. Too, yeah, right? yeah. I like, think the helix rocket really is one of those important things, yeah, especially when yeah. you say 150 health. You can actually hit that helix rocket and mm -hmm. learn that movement pattern. You're gonna be able, yeah. out, able to absolutely delete a squishy DPS like that. So the spread on her gun requires her to be super close to you to really kind of deal damage. So if, even if you shoot that helix rocket at her feet, mm -hmm. she's forced to hit that rewind. And then when she gets close, don't be scared to like that you spray a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Even if you spray a little bit, you hit one of those headshots. She has 150 health. Throw her elbow, she'll be dashing away from you in no time, or you're gonna get that pick off on her. When you talk about movement patterns, you guys already saw that illustrated in the last game too, when Guy kind of knew where that Reaper was going to move to, because Reapers have a movement pattern as well, right? Yeah, you want you exactly. want to be you want to actually be moving back, and you knew he was gonna try to pit himself up in that corner or actually mm -hmm. move further back. It's the same with every single character, and a lot of it's gonna be tailored to the way that they can actually deal damage to you, how they want to move to be in the best position. As we already talked about soldiers positioning. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> like, I literally want to just go hop off the map and pick Zarya right now. I'm just like looking at this comp and I'm just like, oh boy. That's bad. Oh man. boy. That's <laughs> bad. Okay, this is gonna require a hard carry if we can if we can do this. And our sniper already got picked off, so all right. And yep, yeah, enjoy your Widowmaker. Uh, just to save him. Drop the biotic there, like a little bit after. Yeah, I want to make sure I was able to put the teammates up. So, Diva's out of mech, that's going to be good for us. 
Yeah, like that was big, right? Because the biotic field comes down. They actually see, like, when you go in there, the Roadhog's at full health. So get, oh, that's a nice res by the Mercy. Their, their pity goes down. Thank you. All right. Jump right good. Nobody's on our heel. That's four down. All Ooh. right. Can I get a res or Ooh. She got me. I know she got me. She got me. No, she don't she got me. She doesn't got you. <laughs> she don't got me. That was still though a really good push. Even going down there, not too big of a deal. It should be able to. So right right now, this was the, that was the decision. Like, so do I switch to a tank at that point? Like, I feel like we did a good job holding off, but I'm at sixty percent of my ult. All right. Even if I switch to Reinhardt or Risa Zarya, I really wanted to finish point, uh, and I feel like my ult's gonna be needed right here. I can't give up my ult charge. You know, I can't give up my old charge, and then I'm so reliant on the squad, making sure that my, my Widow can take down their Widow, because that's probably one of the hardest fights as soldier, I feel like. If I have to go against this Widow, I have to have some, make sure I change up my movement, put some crouches in here, try to get some headshots, because she's right here. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, up here, okay. Uh, you got so many bodies in the air, too. It looks like that Mercy went right overhead, but you can't worry about her just yet. Uh, oh, team hurt. coming in. Okay, that was good. Look at our jump rail putting it at work, though. That's what I like to see. Like, terrible comp, but hey, sometimes you just oh, gotta play oh. to your main. Okay. Another one. Alright. So, Liam is a Lucio main, and he wants to know how he can get better at taking out Soldier 76. He wants, okay. some, he wants some insider info. So, we have Liam, the Lucio main, right now, asking how he can take out Soldier 76. So, so... so I, you know, I, I really, I've, I've actually probably in a lifetime maybe had five minutes on Lucio in six seasons, to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with Lucio. You probably shouldn't be focused on taking out the soldiers yeah, yourself. That's, that's uh, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the, the main, the main way you want to take out soldiers is depending on the map. If you can actually knock him, if, if you find a soldier out of position and you can knock him into a whole bunch of chance to actually take someone out. Ooh, man, that's a really big push right now. Guy's actually gonna dive back here. Still has his biotic field up. Or oh, I hit the rocket. That's seconds. a rocket jump right yeah, there. Right? Ooh, but you gotta stay on the line side of that one. Death from above, man. That's a really good use of the tactical vibe. You pick up one, not able to get the second kill here, but should be able to get enough pressure onto the Diva to actually take her down. She's out of mech. Get wow. baby Diva. So get the baby Diva. There we go. Uh, get my, traded my, out, my but. My, my mercy, my, she's not close. Uh, but yeah, don't focus so much on trying to kill him, but like, you know, Lucio's can be annoying to, annoying to hit, so if you have very good movement, Making sure that you're you're moving around right there, okay? Making sure you're moving around. Hit the wall, you're, you're, man. You're poking them a little bit with those shots. Oh my God, I think we're gonna hold this off. Yeah, you poke, you there. poke, you hit, and just make sure that everyone's in range of you that you need to be to actually take down Soldier. But we have another absolute bloodbath going part on. Part of his question was also, what elements do you focus on to eliminate Lucio as Soldier? Uh, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that jump pattern. I'm, I'm just trying to put put as many shots on him. Uh, I know where he's usually gonna hop next. Okay, I'm gonna have a helix rocket waiting for him when he goes, because uh, he has to land at some point when he hops in the air. Okay, any character that jumps, okay, unless you're a mercy or or a fair, even if a fair falls in a certain way. Uh, but I know exactly where you're gonna fall. That, that's okay. the big thing. Learn the movement patterns for okay, each different character if you want to know how to take them again. out. We said that for Tracer, and, and now Guy's gonna be saying that for, for Lucio as well. So definitely be paying attention to, to how you see the like players usually move, because they're gonna have that set fall, they're gonna have those set ways to try to disengage. So if you know how they're gonna do that, you're gonna be able to line your shots up really nice and take them out. All right, so I wanna go to Zarya now, because we need the muscle, right? Break out the muscle. I got 87% on my ult, and I knew that they were gonna rush the way that they did. See, they have their ultimate right now. If you wait just a little bit until their ultimate's done, they may not have stops. Oh, that shit. Diva gets you in a really bad position. Oh, no! <laughs> to the Diva all! Oh. Oh, I guess it's Cesaria now. Yeah, yeah, I got to. We need to, we need to tank Did this. you pop Tactical Visor before yeah, you? Okay. okay. Now, now going over to the Zarya. Now, yeah, now, why in particular did you want to go to Zarya before round uh, one? Because if, if you look at our team comp right here, like we have no shields right here, right? Mm -hmm. You know, on the map, like it's... Uh, Anubis here, like if you have that Reinhardt shield, that Arisha shield, it's gonna do you some good. Stop some of that pressure coming through the front door. So Zarya, May, Reinhardt on that last point are like just sweet picks all the way around. We just had a Reinhardt. Reinhardt was our only tank, and it's just like, you know, what are we gonna do with that right there, right? Yeah. Just, it just wasn't wasn't feasible. But I knew that if I could use my tag visor properly, 
would be good. I tried to wait till the end of the Zenyatta O, waited until uh, that Winston Shield went down, but I didn't compensate for, I don't know. Yeah, that was the big thing I was saying, because we actually that, uh, saw them double up. They used the Zenyatta ult, then the Winston Shield went down, so there were no stops left, but just not enough time there for a guy to actually use that tactical right, blast so to get everyone down. I have to down. do with the ult, okay. What did well, you come well, off? We like actually see, yeah, the comp's getting switched up quite a bit, so now all of a sudden you have the Zarya. Guy gonna get I, in I, I didn't get a chance there. to get Zarya. We're, we're gonna ask if I can get Zarya. Are you good on Winston though? Yeah, I'm really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So, guys, actually gonna try to get Zarya right we're gonna now. Try to get Zarya. We're gonna try to keep yeah. Zarya soldier for the deck. Yeah, I, I think that, that would be good. I, I wouldn't mind uh, seeing a little bit of Winston gameplay though. Either I haven't, I haven't seen. Too much Winston gameplay coming out of you in a while. Only the Hanzo. Oh, stuff. yeah, Winston, I'm a bully. <laughs> I'm just a bully with Winston at the end of the day. That's all it is to it. All right, so she's not going to let me switch. And I really don't want to do Soldier just because the simple fact is that we don't have the, the, the right tanks to get through this front door. And we're going to need the proper shield to, to get through here. But if this Zarya bubbles me right, I'm just going to hop in. I'm going to drop a shield. I'm going to be annoying. You know, and uh, force them to move back. Especially here, if you can get somebody to hop on a point, especially at these lower elos, like teams panic. They start hearing that tick from the point being capped, and they all just retreat. Oh, wow. Serious, serious. Dive right back up here. Okay. Oh, I like that. I'm actually going to hop through. They're mad. Oh my god, we got to get back. Look at them all coming back to oh, me. Oh, that hook, too. That just oh, feels so bad. Oh, out of here. We're just gonna back up here. Really the squad disruptive. gonna come through the front door. Back to harass it. I'm gonna get up out of here. Let me get some heals from my Lucio. Okay, they finally take me out. See, my mercy should have been following me kinda when I when I came back there. But you know, you hope that when I when a whole team turns their back and they look at me, that the picks start to come through, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you you wanna see some of those DPS go down. You wanna see that widow make those snipes for you. But, uh, you know, not every widow is the truth. That's definitely for sure. Finally, we actually see the piggy land his hook there. He missed quite a few of those while we were watching. But yeah, you can see the big thing with Winston, once again, to, to really hammer this point home, like positioning's everything. You were able to make so much space with the way that you actually jumped to the point. Everyone needed to get back to yeah, actually get that pressure switched. onto you. She switched to Tracer. Okay, I'm happy for that. She realized that I'm not hitting these shots and the team needs me, okay? Who, who switched to Tracer? Tracer? Uh, the, our Widow did. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the thing with Widow. It's like every now and then Widow's right, but you need to really be able to play the Widow to make it good. Yeah, I'm a... Oh, that whole like, squad like, just jumped Like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like diving in here, but... Get the res, but... I don't even know if I'm on board with that res. Like, how much can you actually do here? Looks like a lot, though. Getting some work done. Actually investing the ultimate too as well. Taking a lot of damage. Is that Mercy still up or they managed to take her down? Depending on the point. Oh, you got the Zarya finally coming in as well. So that can hook you over the bubble. She uses the Graviton, but there's not much follow-up. You guys actually get it all. Yeah, that was a beautiful Graviton right there. Okay. That worked out. Ain't nobody else on the What is Junk right at? Is he up here? Not here. So with Winston, what would you say the most important thing is positionally? I know we were doing soldier tips, but right now this is one of the important things with Overwatch is actually being able to flex, be flexible enough to switch your character when the, the situation is right. So let's get a couple of Winston tips out there as well. Uh, it, see, harassing the enemy's back line, right? Uh, harassing their back lines, making sure you can kind of take out those squishy targets, those healers, is always going to be good. And understanding that your jump comes up relatively quickly, so if you just need to hop out of combat, hop out of combat, you know what I'm saying? Um, see right here, this is a prime example. Let me get up out of here real quick because this is an ideal situation for me. Yeah. So you can disengage really well, but you can also use that jump ability to actually dive behind the enemy lines. We've already seen that happen quite a few times. Yeah. So how do you like to actually place your shields? I think uh, it's a really important thing. So racing on Reinhardt, it wasn't going to do, do much damage because it wasn't going to be kind of useful. Just because the simple fact is that he can kind of swing through my shield, right? Uh, but let's say if that was a soldier or, or, or McCree right there. Uh, e even Genji, I'm going to place that shield where I can kind of pop in and out of it. So that, that shield's going to be taking most of that damage, but also at the same time, they're still going to be taking some shots. And you get an, uh, they're still going to be getting, getting shocked. Not taking shots, they're getting shocked right there by my gun. Okay. 
this is gonna be interesting how we do this. But since I know that I'm like one of our main tanks, I have to be that guy to engage and, and kind of cause commotion right here. Yeah, we saw that also happening with the Zarya as well, right? So you have both of those tanks kind of bringing the ruckus when yeah. can. That, that push did not go nearly as I try, well. I tried to drop down to the health pack because my ult was about 7% up. But right now, Winston isn't probably... Uh, the squad can do good with it, though. But when this, when this next Graviton comes up, I think it's going to be key. Because we can do the Big Bang, which is Tracer's combo and Zarya's combo mixed. And this Winston is just out of place. Like, he should get punished. So... With, with all of that being said, too, how do you incorporate to that, that Wombo combo with your Winston? Uh, you know, my Winston really isn't going to be, be able to do do much with that. Don't get me wrong, I can still get in there and kind of put some damage. But but if they get off that combo, like it's yeah, going if, if out. The, yeah, if the squad yeah. gets off that combo, that's going to be good. We just need to make sure we catch that Mercy inside of it as well. Yeah, just waiting right now to actually see Zarya get that combo because that's going to be the thing to initiate it off. You can get the team piled up inside of that grab time. So Mercy I'm a, can come in. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to try to get in here and cause some commotion because we need this, but our Zarya's going to be down. I might just have to switch up like... I just personally feel like the kills aren't falling in our favor, and this is like when I want to just go, I want to go Reaper probably here. I just want to go Soldier. Just say, forget the comp. Okay, I'm going to be that guy. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's the right move for the team. Like, if you feel like you're not actually getting enough done uh, on the tank. Charge the way that these junk rats are shooting his bombs out here, she, she should be eating up all this damage, just soaking it up. Right now, so let's stack up left. Oh, she, she got her ult. Just need to find the rock, right opportunity to have them all stacked up. I hate when Azari pops off the Graviton like a little bit too early. This is not a bad opportunity if you actually do see the follow up coming in as well from the, the tracers. <coughs> Live Lord, but it looks like you should go down nah, there. So, no so, the, so the Zenyatta pretty much countered everything that we tried to do right there. Still, though, you managed to pick up one kill. You're still oh, going, too. You should be able to get that second down. one. Junk rat right to the right. Good stuff. You're the only one, He's though. Is this one of the times that you want to just disengage? That is exactly what I want to do, Rich. <laughs> get out of there. Hightail it out. I had tunnel vision there for a second. Yeah, sometimes you get a little blood crazy, man. I've been there before. All start right. start getting those kills racking up. You don't want to ever leave the party. Sometimes it is the cool move to yeah. leave the party early. Yeah, these kills aren't falling aren't falling through, and now it's about too late for me to change up. So this, that. this Winston is just gonna look at him. He he knows it. He's like, yo, I'm about to get you. But hopefully the squad is shooting at him also. And he blowing his own outside of spawn, but he's just like, that's just cockiness. And right now, I just want to just rush your team. I mean, even, of it. even if that goes best case scenario, what are you really achieving by that ult? Because I don't necessarily agree with that from that Winston. Yeah, this is this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to just hope for a prayer. Living on a prayer. Oh. You got your ultimate now, too. The question is... Oh. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was a little bit risky. Yo, leave it. Leave but it no, I, I hit my ult at the end. Like I was, I was pressing, but I got chunked at the end right there. Like he's got ult up still on your spot. I was, I was gonna do primal rage, but I didn't get it. I didn't pop it in time. Who's got ult on your team, real quick? Nobody. Oh, and it's only so much. Like if, if we had dire a, situation. Like if, if we had an honor right now, this would be super solid. Just because the simple fact is that just get the nano boost. If you nano boost me, I can really just kind of do some damage. This Winston, man, just a cocky guy. He's rocking the same skin as me. Like, he gets it, right? I'm trying to prove he's king of the jungle right now. Mess him up! Oh, this is looking good, man. So, how do you actually like to use your ultimate on Winston? Uh, I, I just like to use it to survive, right? Oh, oh, they got that. That was the boom that we needed. Now they just need to get the rest of these kills. What's up? I know everybody else isn't dead, right? <laughs> All yeah. comes down to that Genji, right? And, and the Winston is just like, yo, what's up, dog? Yeah, what's up? I'm the best Winston in NA. Yeah, I should have, I should have, I should have probably switched a long time ago. Like, yeah, you, you better leave. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, give, a, give a shout out to Chauncey Martinez. He Yo. says he's only played the beta, but you make this game look fun. Yo, what's up, Chauncey? Yo, you need to hop on, okay? What you, you know, been doing? Yo, somebody said last week that um that you know that they wanted to, they wanted to get into it. Yeah. But, and I was telling them, I was like, hey, it's a character for everybody, right? Yeah. It's a character for everybody. And it's a lot of influencers out there on YouTube who has tutorials of these characters to show you exactly how to play them, you know? Yeah. And uh, but once you, once you find that one person that you like, you're going to have the time of your life, all right? So that's why, uh, you know, check it out. Yeah, you yeah, got to yeah, dedicate, a, yeah, you gotta like, dedicate a, week, a, a weekend to it. Yeah, it takes, it takes a little bit of time to actually figure out which character you like the most, right? You got to dabble a little bit, but I'm, I'm, it, so, I'm so tilted about that last game. I'm, oh my god, uh, I'm so tilted. That it, was awesome. it was a little rough towards the end there for sure. So one thing about like, especially like like on stream let's play rules. If I win my first match of the day, we good because that means we got some cushion. We can play until we, you know, <laughs> until we can get back to the rank that I started yeah, at, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, we had that cushion. We was able to take a loss. But we're gonna play this next one. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, this could this could be a real right. brutal one as well. Because if you if you don't it, win this one, you can start losing rating. I'm just I, I should have just auto lock <laughs> soldier, right? And, and you have those moments where you just like I'm just gonna auto lock this guy. I don't care. I'm not gonna be that guy to switch. I'm not gonna be that. Yeah, yeah. It's not saying that you're not gonna be that team player. It's just that you know I just don't trust you. Yeah, yeah, right. I right. just don't trust you. I just well, don't trust you to get it done. And that was one of the situations where I didn't trust my tracer or my Genji to get stuff done. I think and sometimes auto locking really is the right move too because you go in, you set that precedent, you see how the team. Yourself. Yeah, you're super like you're Taking out what kind of move back, backtrack a little bit and actually do something that is going to help with what everyone else did because they might be in the same position as you. You know, you, like, know, you know how you stop somebody from auto locking Hanzo? You auto lock it. Okay, <laughs> you get them first. <laughs> okay, I, I trust my own skills rather than I trust uh, Sharpshooter eighty six. Okay, <laughs> all right, this is prime example. That's what you do. That's meta. <laughs> please, so people, please, please don't do that. <laughs> I I enjoy play, I enjoy playing Overwatch. I want to enjoy playing Overwatch. It, do it, not it, do it'll that. It'll never stop. <laughs> it'll be. A Okay, it's just reset. Okay, all right, it's reset. Okay, yeah, we're, just a little bit of reset coming oh, in right no. now. Okay, we're back in here. Now what? I got auto lock soldier again. Oh no! Yo, this is fine though. We go Zarya. Zarya's up. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know what happened. So, there. so Zarya is kind of in this the second part of this tutorial video. It, it appears. So, any suggestions for Zarya? Let's get some of these pro tips out here. Let's start with actually the the use of your shield. How do you want to be using your bubbles as Zarya? I'm, I'm taking a look at my team right now, and so initially, so you can shield your teammates, you can shield yourself, right? Uh, the damage that the shield takes goes to your gun, right? So you get charged up, and when she's at 100, she's doing her max damage. Uh, so especially early on, I'm trying to get some juice in my gun, because right now, look, look at that small stream, I'm not, I'm doing nothing, I'm doing no damage. So if I'm in here communicating, I'm telling my Arissa, hey, walk out there, Take some damage. My Rizzo walks out there with the shield on her. She takes some damage. My Mercy heals her up. I got some juice in my gun. I'm out there. I'm trying to poke and I'm trying to take some damages. I'm trying to take some damage as well just to charge up, right? Uh, just because I know, okay, I got some silly teammates out here. So, right? Give me some juice, all right? We, we have 15% now. Uh, I might walk out here myself. They got the jump right. What's up? Hey, how y'all doing? Okay. And also the other, so, so how long will that charge actually last as you do get it? Uh, it, ha it has a runoff, but okay. Yeah, we got a, we got a, we got a, okay, he's just gonna be in our base chilling. Alright, see now I really have no charge, but. Yeah, so you can't really get that much damage on it. And like, that was a really aggressive dive as well. And so right now I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some juice off my teammates here because 
<laughs> it is fair, it's clear that she doesn't even want nothing to do with me. And that's probably smart on her part, so. There we go. Okay. But nobody on my team wants to look at her. Actually, we don't even have a, I think, a hit scan to really kind of deal with her. There we there go. There we go, finally, Dale. All right. <laughs> All right, so now I'm, I'm fired up. Okay. They, they got this argument as well. You can actually see right when that diva gets in the thick of things, they're just going to throw that shield on her. She starts taking a lot of damage. That means that Zarya's probably just as charged as uh, this guy is, if not more. Oh, now, yeah. well, she was full charged. Look at how she, big she, that, she, she, that's a thick, a, a thick beam. 100% charged right there. Thick, 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 thick beam. Yeah. So uh, well, one of the questions that I have for you, when you're actually, you are trying to deal damage on Zarya, when AOE ability and also the ability to shoot out that that stream that consistent damage which which is right in which situations yo Brian we on we on our screen our full okay just want to make sure make sure, sure I got to log back in here yeah, don't want none of y'all on my stuff your boy Anthony Pepe says what's up he wants to know if you can see the chat yeah Anthony I got I got I got rich here and also we have mark here uh, throwing us that love here and letting us know what's going on. But to answer Rich's question, uh, it really depends, it, it, it kind of depends on the fight. Me personally, I like my right click opposed to my left click because I like doing that constant damage. Uh, and hopefully I can, I'm getting back into this game right now and hopefully I'll make it here in time for the squad. Oh, they still defend the first point, look at that. All works out perfectly. Yo, I'm with that, okay. Joker's Yo, Aries mob. Oh, okay, Aries. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I remember, I remember Aries. Okay, I remember Aries. The coach Aries. from LTZ. Back in the day. Okay, back in the old Halo Gears days. Way, um, way, way back. Way, way, way back. But, uh, like, so I like to harass my right click. I like to harass my right click from a distance. Uh, up close battles, I like the constant stream. Okay, I like my left click for that. Okay, like, what's, what, what's she doing? This is all out of place up here. Got to do a Mercy up out of here. But I'm really not getting any juice right now. I'm still at zero. Like, can somebody please shoot at the squad? Yeah, that's like the really important thing too, as you've already mentioned. It's like really finding those opportunities to, to find the target that's going to be taking the most damage inside of a fight, get the bubble on them, and also really putting yourself in the line of fire as much as possible. We talked about how soldiers shouldn't be on the front line. He should be in the mid line, actually getting those lines of sight, finding the choke points, and then getting the damage in. That's a lot different with Zarya. You are that person on the front line. You want to be there constantly. You want to be the one soaking the, up the damage because that's going to, going to translate to a lot of damage for your team. And you're going to get your ultimate charged up so much faster. And we already saw how good that is to initiate with. And any big push, and you can follow up with so many other ultimates that are going to be on your team, pretty much regardless of time. Now you're definitely taking a lot of damage. Oh, you can see good. guy getting some charge, boy. Yeah, now we can start cooking. We're cooking with hot grease now. Ooh. We're cooking with hot grease now. Somebody started a kitchen fire. You were All not right. supposed to cook like that. That is dangerous. Be out there. Oh, nice harass too. That was exactly what you were talking about with that right click. You, you know. You're actually not block her her uh, her left click. I think it can block the right click, but it can't block the left. So click. so basically, it, it stops projectiles. Yeah. It's like so so it's going to stop all the bullets is just that it's a laser beam so it's going up right through that defense matrix it's going to hit right onto diva see right now this team finally getting the rebuttal red team coming in with a counter push actually able yeah. to take down Stand everyone here. so I, I will have my hope when i come back into this fight i just need the team to kind of just get in here oh there we go that was beautiful actually kind of symmetric that was actually the first time on that shield for her they were so grouped up like that's the other thing if you had that yeah. ultimate like a little bit earlier yeah you could have absolutely deleted them there but yeah, so this is gonna be probably our last one because I feel like our connection is kind of acting a little loopy on this end yes, right now. Yeah, yeah. 
So we're gonna but we're gonna finish out this match. We're gonna get this W for you guys, alright? And uh we might have we might okay. since we're gonna still on Zari, we're gonna go back in on Zari. But I actually question is do I trust the squad? But actually I, I we, we are gonna do this because you can carry with Zarya. Yeah? This McCree's name is McCredo. That is awesome. I trust this McCree. Alright, let's look at the stats. <laughs> McCreedo. 28 hours of McCree. Okay. He's right. a McCree with, with a mission, with a manifesto, with a credo. But, but McCreedo? Ma McCreedo. Oh, Sounds nice. like something you would buy at McDonald's, dude. Really? Hey, could I get a McCreedo, please? <laughs> oh, a McCreedo? Uh, yeah, it's a burrito from McDonald's. It's literally, yeah. it's actually, it's literally it's a burrito, burrito from McDonald's. Yeah. Burrito. Okay, can I get a McCreedo? Mm. It almost sounded like, a, I would have I thought like a sweet yes. dessert, Callan, you know? Yeah, a McCreedo. Uh, Yeah, and, and, and that graviton, you want to catch as many people with that graviton as possible here. And yeah, my bad, folks. Yeah, this is that connection. So we're going we gonna, we gonna hey to duke, duke this one out. You don't control the internet. We don't. We're going to duke this one out because the, the squad needs me. I know they're in team chat like, oh, my God. Never been in your team. Never been in your team, man. We're going we gonna to duke it out for them, okay? If you guys, internet drop, always hop back on and check. Make sure that game's Try, still man. going, okay? Because I didn't, I didn't play some games five. Just praying that the that, that the member joins, you know. Even sometimes, if you gotta, sometimes even if you gotta blue mess with the router, you know? you know. Even if you gotta, you gotta plug the router in and out really quick, still try to jump back on. It's your rating, and but it's also their rating as well. So so try to do it for the team. All right, we in here now. All right, so the squad know they're like, all right, cool, you back. All right, let's do this. We're gonna win this game. They got an annoying mate. Oh, we got the charge too. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. We already see the one kill come in instantly. Mercy's gonna be able to get up the res, but guy getting pummeled by that turret. That's enough to actually bring him down. Going in on that first engagement. Those turrets, if you actually place them in the right place, I didn't even, I didn't even hear the turret. I hit my my headphones off my ear. I was yeah. taking so much damage from it. But that's fine. You know, I like turrets, Zarya. That's, well, that, that's charge. Well, well, that's the thing too. That's the thing. And yeah, it's a lot of charge because you dive in and out. You know, break that line of sight with the turret over and over again. Get the exact amount of charge. Get that maximum charge on your shield. But if you don't hear them, especially on another character, and that's a really nice bubble coming out from a guy that's going to get him a little bit charged up. Team though, having a lot of discipline that he is playing against doesn't get too much out of it. But but like you mentioned, if, if you can know that the turrets are there. You're gonna be able to get a lot of charge out of it, but if you do not know, by the time you notice the damage, it is already too late. So definitely be paying attention, especially when you do know the other team's composition. That's a really nice strike coming out as well from that Reinhardt, gonna be able to cut Guy down from a range. Yeah, we need to we need to really try to get these picks to get through this front door. So I'm about to try to be that guy. I gotta uh, that guy. So I'm, I'm like I'm like a new new Zarya player. Like I, I've had so much fun playing over the last few days, but. If there's one thing I have to learn is to build my ults up a lot faster, because I know some Zarya players get their ults up like every two seconds. Yeah, that, that was what I was saying too, and a lot of that comes with the actual charge that you're gonna, gonna be able to do. It's gonna increase your participation a lot inherently if you are in situations where you're gonna be getting a lot of that charge. Oh, they actually put me back in right away. Okay. Trying to play Overwatch. People downloading their cooking magazines. This is what happens. This is what happens when you read the Zarya comic, man. Now, now, now someone in the back read it. Now they're downloading all the Overwatch lore and reading it on the servers. Mom, seriously, stop! You know what? This is typical from her. I'm going to just yell at our IT guys. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, all right, yeah, jump, jump back in, though. You see that still your team has not been able to break it. And once again, it's going to be the turret that actually brings you down. <laughs> and they actually put the, the Tur turret MVP, right?
on like rabid animals right now trying to figure out what's going wrong with the internet. They were probably playing video games too. Coming in all upset. See, that, that bubble was unfortunate, man. Probably not going to get any charge off of that one in particular. Can, can chuck yeah, that one up to the one, internet. I'm just hoping I get one ult off of the squad here and hope that they can do what needs to be done. The one alt dropped the mic, trying to shoot through right now, getting through May's wall. And it looks like we have enough of a team to finally get this break broken. This Lucio is coming in with a lot of aggressive pokes, so Guy actually decides to put the shield on him. He gets a little bit of charge out of it, but maybe that Lucio was playing out of his league. You see one player does go down, Graviton does come out, and we also have the Mercy ult, so it's so many people yeah. going to come in. Almost pulled in the Mercy as well, but there wasn't enough follow -up. You learned today from Guy Blaze when you're jumping in on Soldier 76. Be sure to use all the tips that you learned today. We'll have the VOD as well if you want to go back and watch them. Guy, thanks hey, for having hey, me play hey, with you. Yeah, yo, it's been awesome. And if you guys uh, want to see us do a different character, if you guys are enjoying this, hey, you know, tweet. Uh, you know, leave a comment on the video. Uh, tweet. My Twitter is going to be at Guy Blaze Live. So send us a tweet on what you guys want to see. You know, because we're going to do a few more of these and we can choose uh, yeah. different characters, whatever, whatnot, you know? But yeah, hit Guy up at Guy Blaze Live. You can hit me up at Rich W. Campbell. We'll be back very soon with more Overwatch characters and Guy's tips. Let us know which characters you want to see, and we will see you then. Thanks for stopping by.